Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, we are going to see uh, another uh, important uh, time intelligence function, dates YTD. We already covered the YTD behavior, what is YTD, MTD, QTD in our previous video. Please watch the uh, suggested video at the top if you don't know what is YTD, MTD and QTD. In this video, I'm going to focus mainly on what is the key difference between total YTD and dates in YTD. Without wasting time, let's move to our business scenario. We know the Naga garments we are building. And today he wants to calculate the uh, cumulative sales, uh, the yearly financial year sales for uh, his, uh, how much quantity he has sold. And we need to use dates YTD. When to choose dates YTD. Okay, let's see in a demo. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in Power BI. Now we have already built a uh, total YTD. Let us quickly see this uh, value. I mean the formula using the total YTD. Here is the total YTD. Sales quantity YTD financial year. The sum of sales total YTD dim date dot date and three comma thirty one. This indicates the end of the fiscal year. So my fiscal year starts from April. That is what it says. When you use this one, this is the output using the total YTD. You can see it here. Total YTD. The data starts from um, uh, April and it cumulative total. It keeps on adding. That is what the YTD is and on next year it begins from uh, 2018 and keeps on adding till the end of the year this is absolutely fine now what is dates ytd how to write it so the dates ytd function if you see the key difference we are wrapping the dates ytd inside the calculate function so basically dates ytd generates the list of dates it acts as a filter context in this uh, particular it generates the dates table internally and calculate will do accordingly the calculation this is the key difference between your dates ytd and ytd whereas the ytd figure you are seeing it here it gives only the scalar value single value and based on this calculations, I mean the di dimension you return, it will map the values. So that is the one of the important difference between your um, uh, total YTD and dates YTD. Let me yeah, no here the dates YTD. You see the difference, right? The dates YTD inside calculate, whereas uh, your uh, total YTD is a single function okay let us try to put this uh, measure i mean this chart is showing uh, based on uh, uh, y total ytd okay that is here uh, so this chart whatever you're seeing it here it's based on total ytd let us copy this chart and put it here okay and i will use uh, dates ytd measure now so it is typically the same there is no difference so the result you can see for uh, 2017 june 566 so 2017 june 566 the result set is same when i need to choose uh, dates ytd and uh, 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 total ytd the question arises. basically if you see the syntax let me try to rewrite this one okay total YTD. You can see the syntax expression that is uh, whatever you want to calculate it's a quantity or sum. Then followed by a dates and it says filter. It is a single filter you can apply inside a total YTD. In that case you can go for total YTD. Okay. That is what it is all about. If you have a multiple filters say for example I want online whoever purchased on shop and formal wear this syntax is not possible i mean this filtering is not possible using total ytd uh, let me write that one so 
so it is sum of sales uh, quantity okay comma dates is nothing but uh, dim dates uh, when no need to write just paste it whatever we have dates and in the filter area okay uh, now the dates is done in the filter area I'm saying uh, like um, I want online sales I mean on shop sales that is order type name equal to on shop okay this is what I want I am filtering it so let us see this data now without entering 2279 okay that is sales quantity YTD that is total YTD 2279 for 2018 March when I press enter the formula changes uh, basically I think I did some mistake on shop okay I think it's small letter it should be caps okay that is a mistake oh there is another space over here you should be very careful uh, writing the formulas okay that's fine so just you remember the 2279 right without this uh, filter now it got reduced 2161 and I said the two filters sales order type name equal to on shop as well as and and you cannot have another filter uh, if you put comma it comes as year and date so you need to put the year and date as another filter you cannot have another filter some people think I can put Amazon let us try that one sales location or it's a product name equal to formal okay let me put this one what it says it throws error the error is like expression contain multiple columns but single column can be used okay because the total ytd will allow single filter so it will not allow multiple filters that is the key difference now the same thing i can able to achieve i can have multiple filters in the dates ytd let us move to dates ytd this is not the total ytd let me rename it to dates ytd dates ytd as you can see the measure here dates ytd okay now when i move on to dates ytd what i can do i want to apply multiple filters the calculate as you know that is the power of calculate you can have multiple filters you can see filter one filter two filter the dot 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 indicates multiple filters so this dates ytd function itself acts as one of the table filter now dates ytd dim date dot date same uh, the year end uh, see the syntax of dates ytd you are mentioning dates and year and date that is fine then again you can have multiple filters that is part of calculate so now i can have two filters now one is like um, sales order type uh, name equal to on shop uh, instead of uh, um, uh, and I, I can use multiple filters right sales and uh, product name equal to formal okay that makes sense that's it there is a data issue I mean uh, I, you need to properly use uh, proper word formal product category is formal uh, whether you have a product name as uh, formal you do not have a product name as formal I know <coughs> so product category equal to formal there you go now you can see 226 that is 2018 April uh, the data is for on shop okay this is YTD because you can see the measure you filtered for on shop whether you cannot apply another filter whereas here you applied another filter like uh, it is on shop and sales I mean category equal to formal so if you want to use multiple filters go for uh, uh, like uh, calculate uh, as as you said the dates ytd 
and if you have a single filter or no filter go for total ytd it is so the same case is uh, applicable for uh, dates q2d and dates mtd and if you have multiple filters go for uh, calculate and dates mtd q2d ytd if you have single or no filters use uh, total ytd total mtd total qtd i hope you guys like this video share and subscribe to the channel and do remember that data is your asset